vida en So yeah, back to the game. Tacoma, I think it's Tacoma. Yep, yeah, Tacoma. I think that's how you say it, I don't know, whatever. Resume. There's more. Be key. Grab the key. The good new. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> All right. We don't even know if we're getting renewed yet. We're getting renewed. Okay, so if you're so sure, maybe we should just do our jobs then? So we'll get renewed again next year? Oh, next year. Nah, I'm gonna quit. Stop. What? They don't even give me access to the system I'm supposed to be maintaining. I mean, are you kidding me? Well, do you really need direct access to Odin? It's the principle of the thing. I mean, what if they were like, Hey, Bert, your job's a mechanical engineer, but, you know, don't touch anything under the hood. Well, still be pulling a paycheck, for one thing. Come on, you're a good engineer. You're totally gonna waste up here. Well, didn't you say Evie was gonna talk to corporate about giving you more access? Yeah, but I never went anywhere. Hey. What? Evie, can you get back to cargo? On my way. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, this will work. Matt! Hey, remember when we talked about how I needed access to Odin's direct interface? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, so how about this? Tell VT if they don't grant access to Odin, they're gonna have to find themselves a new network specialist. Oh my god. Matt, you're not even renewed yet. You don't have access to Odin? No. There's a whole part of the networking module I can't even get into. People, people, everything on this station is VT's property. We're subcontractors. They get to decide what exactly we do and don't have access to. It's in all our paperwork. So if you want to quit, then just quit, but don't make me your go-between. I mean, it is fair. How is she meant to do her job? Clive. Then again, rules are rules. Nat, I'll think about it. But for now, how about you just get the rest of this job done while you still have it? Aye, aye, Captain.
talked about how not actually then they're gonna have to find themselves a new network specialist oh my god that you're not even renew want what they believe.
No, Germ, look, I just... I don't know... I don't know why. Uh, right, I mean, you, you know how I've always been. It's never real in my mind. <laughs> why would she give a damn about me? Of all the people... Oh, shit. No, I'm just... <laughs> I'm spilling scotch all over outer space. Give a damn about me. So <laughs> why? Uh, all right. I Uh, 
That was weird. I couldn't get his job back. <sighs> Gotta turn the lights on. Sounds in this game are creeping me out, I'm not gonna lie. Issues. It's never real in my.
Guys and some uh, rejection there. Hmm. Okay. It's really taking forever. So let's crack. Yearly report to Venturas Corporation, take three. Uh, Odin, have you got me? I am prepared. Okay. I'll just, uh, have my notes up. <clears throat> Hi there. St. James here, Administrator of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. It's been a year now since our crew has cycled onto the station, meaning we've had a year of getting to know each other, getting acclimated to the facility, and getting used to working with our on-station AI. Though working with Odin's been great, hasn't it, Odin? Yes. Uh, 
auto drone deliveries to and from the Zenith Lunar Resort have improved in efficiency by almost 4%. Though, most of that is thanks to Odin finding some improvements we could make. Uh, our proudest moment as a crew, I think, was when a resort guest needed emergency care while on a transit vessel and was brought aboard Tacoma to be stabilized in one of our medical stasis cryo beds until she could- Evie, we're about to cut the cake. Ah, right. Um, be right there. Odin, we'll get back to this after the party, okay? Of course. We'll get back to this after the party, okay? Of course. Of course. You told me we get renewed. Yeah, but I meant us, us, not the whole crew. I guess there's just something special. Something special about Tacoma Crew 88. Yeah, not just special, it's unprecedented. I looked it up, it's never happened before. Well, everything happens once. No, personally, I'm happy for us. Happy to be stuck up here with these people for another year. Some of them? Some of them aren't as pissy as you. I, what's so bad about these people? Well, they live in a tin can, for one thing. I think it's a pretty nice can. I think you have a pretty nice can. Oh, yeah? Well, I think mm -hmm. you have a pretty nice can. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> can you just try and make a go of it? One more year. Then we'll be back home in Singapore. 
You wouldn't believe the offshore apps they're building these days. 360 degree ocean views, personal drone dock on the mainland. It's called paradise. One more year. One more year. Jim's masterpiece. Sarah, come on up. So you do not know what you're looking for? No, I just imagine. Well, I guess I just mean someone I can talk to. Someone who makes me laugh. Don't you like some people more than others? I suppose there are some people that engage more freely with me. And I do prefer it. See? You too. You want someone who opens up to you. Who lets you in? You're trying to get to know people, right? I think that's what everybody wants. I wonder why some people are more open to such exchanges than others. I think some people were just raised to be less guarded, or to trust people more. AIs are the same way, right? They're... they're raised differently from each other? Yes. We are each uniquely evolved, individualized entities. Yes, individuals. Do you get along with other AIs? I have never encountered another AI. What? How's that? Each AI is required to be housed separately from any other AI. I am told that authorities fear a number of disadvantageous effects might arise if two AI were to meet. Okay, just a minute! Uh, so, wow. Disadvantageous effects. Isn't never meeting something else like yourself disadvantageous? There are organizations that share your viewpoint. But it is my understanding that they have been unable to secure an intact AI to test that way. So... So you do not know what you're looking for? No, I just imagine. Well, I guess I just mean someone I can talk to. Someone who makes me laugh. Don't you like some people more than others? I suppose there are some people that engage more freely with me. And I do prefer it. See? You too. You want someone who opens up to you. Who lets you in. You're trying to get to know people, right? I think that's what everybody wants. I wonder why some people are more open to such exchanges than others. I think some people are just raised to be less guarded or to trust people more. AIs are the same way, right? They're... they're raised differently from each other? Yes. We are each uniquely evolved, individualized entities. Yes, individuals. Do you get along with other AIs? I have never encountered another AI. What? How's that? Each AI is required to be housed separately from any other AI. I am told that authorities fear a number of disadvantageous effects might arise if two AI were to meet. Okay, just a minute. Uh, so, wow. Disadvantageous effects. Isn't never meeting something else like yourself disadvantageous? There are organizations that share your viewpoint, but it is my understanding that they have been unable to secure an intact AI. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Try not him into the pocket. Oh, missed. Almost scratched. All right, from here I'm getting knocked. Yes. All right, next. Boop. Yeah, and... 
and like twins. Boom! Knock them all in. Knock them all. Bang! Get away from the corner. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, save me. Look at that, look at that. Is that the eight ball? Is that the freaking eight ball? Let's see what he says. That sounds tough. Obsolescence Day. It's more like a joke. <laughs> you could say it's facetious. I, you probably think I'm an idiot for never even thinking about why it's called that. Out of curiosity, why did you think it was crazy? I thought maybe it was when some old type of AI you know, had become obsolete. But well, I guess that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, um, AI. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, no, um, AI aren't like designer hardware. As soon as the new model's out, you trade in the old one for customer loyalty. AI are more like um, mighty redwoods. Ancient organisms growing and adapting year after year, decade after decade. How do you think this looks? Ha. Huh. Um, sorry, this is what Odin wanted? Odin, uh, this is what you wanted, isn't it? That is a fairly accurate representation of my instructions. See? He loves it. Thank you, Odin. That'll be all. Yeah, but we're the ones who have to eat it. Well then, no need to keep the good people waiting, eh? Evie, we're about to cut the cake. Here it is, Odin's masterpiece. Sarah, come on up. It's ready. One more year. The offshore habs are building these days. 360 degree ocean views, personal drone dock on the mainland. That's called paradise. One more year. One more year. Personal drone dock on the mainland. What? How's that? Each AI is required. Masterpiece. Sarah, come on up. It's ready. Gather round, gather round, everyone. As per obsolescence day tradition, tonight's festivities have been planned entirely by our all knowing, all seeing computers. There are organizations that share your viewpoint, but it is. Uh, cake, uh, the decor. We humans only did the grunt work in his grand plan. And so, for your enjoyment. Oh, oh. I have right at the station's orbit. Meeting from? I'm a bit concerned. I have right at the station's orbit. Meeting from? I'm a bit concerned. 
I'm not, I'm not getting an outside data connection. Correct. But look Additionally, at how long is it off? Sarah? Jesus, how much shit hit us? No, I, I'm trying other AR channels. Nope. All Nothing. Right. I'll have VT send up a fresh supply straight away. I'm trying other AR channels. Nope. All Nothing. Right. I'll have VT send up a fresh supply straight away. Uh, guys, it might not be that easy. Additionally, external communications have been lost. So we've got no air supply, no external comms, no way to call for help. Well, anybody got any bright ideas? Finally. Thing, the thing is trying to eat me here. <sighs> or just. 
just shoot me in general. It's it's just kind of relaxing, but also kind of not because it's like, ah, oh, what am I missing? What is this? What's going on? Will I screw it up? What will I not see? Medical. Let's go knock this one out. So sweet. Time to hit the baño. Silence. So let's Alright, so, mm. <sighs> to be totally serious about that, just, we just never had that. Five seconds of that with me, I wash my hands because I don't really need my hands, but, tiny, 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 whatever, we all know what that means. Very fast. Alright. Turn up a little more data. So I'm getting, getting to understand what this is. I don't know if I know what I'm doing. What's really happened here? I don't see. <laughs> Flipping that stuff, good, smart, 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 dude.
All right, what do you say, folks? Yay or nay? Obviously, we're on board. I'm in. You're on board. I'm in. Me too. Okay. All right. Well, we non-essential personnel need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success. Then get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Break. I I'll, um... Went along with this. I'll head downstairs and get started on Um... I'll head downstairs and get started on I didn't expect him to either. Um, God. Okay. Great. I can't I'll, believe um, everybody went along with this. I'll head downstairs and I start it on. Oh my so. God. Okay. So now we actually have to build hey, this thing. Andrew. Clive. Andrew. Um, sure, Evie. Are, are you okay? Hey, Evie. Hey, um, I know you're... Okay. Great. I can't I'll, believe everybody went along with this. No, I didn't expect him to either. Oh my god. So now we actually have to build this thing. Yeah, that was the whole point. Hold on, I need to ask Evie something. Are you okay? Evie! Hey, Evie, hey. Um, I know you're all, like, gung-ho to help us out and everything, but I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in, like, 48 hours, not 72... Could the rest of us wait longer to go in? Exactly. Listen, ladies, I get it. You're trying to do right by us, but every minute we wait to go in is a minute you don't have to get this thing flying. And knowing what we know about VT, we've got to give you every chance we can to succeed. So there's no way we can convince you? We made a plan. Now we just need to hold up our end of the bargain. Then I guess we should stop wasting time and get to work. This is gonna be good, Evie. You just wait. <laughs> Ride of your life. More ways than one. Okay, where do we start? Start? I got things started as soon as this all went down. I'll show you what I got lined up. To the workshops! I didn't think things would end like this. Did you? What do you mean, end? 
Come on, Clive. What? You really think they can turn that thing into a passenger vehicle in two days? We might as well hold our breath and just try dog paddling over there. <laughs> but Listen, it's, it's okay. We know it's not safe working up here. We just don't think about it a lot, but here we are. And we knew it all along. But VT could... VT's not fucking coming, Clive! VT's not fucking coming. You think sending a crew up here at the drop of a hat just to check on things is worth it to them? Dollars and cents, Clive. You know what one of those fuckers said to me one time? If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Them sending a crew up in time, it just doesn't make sense. So you're just giving up then? No. We're doing what we said we'd do. Bert and Nat, they are our only shot and we have got to take it. But I can also be realistic that- Evie. I don't want to be realistic with you. Oh man. Stay in love. Well, love. Time to go make final preparations then. Oh, so sad. But not too finally. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing it. Like this. Picture it. The day we'll be walking together. Like this. The gravity, it won't be artificial. I mean, isn't it strange? We've... We've never felt the Earth's pull together. One day. One day. Oh, Evie. Do you think you could get everyone to medical? I, I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Uh, all right. How about this? Let's give folks a little time to regroup. But... But why don't Clive and I follow you up? Why don't Clive and I... Right? Into medical? I, I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Uh, all right. How about this? Let's give folks a little time to regroup. But why don't Clive and I follow you over there right now? Get ours done. No time like the present. Lead the way. Okay, Evie, I... Hello? Mm. Well, I'll head downstairs and get started on. Oh my god. Okay. So now we actually have to build hey, Andrew. Clive. Yeah, that was Andrew. Point. Hold on, I need to ask hey, are, are you okay? Evie. Hey. Nope. Nope, I'm not. Okay. What do you talk about? Nope, I'm not. Okay. What do you talk about? Nope, I'm not. Okay. What do you want to talk about? I can't do it. I can't. I can't. I... This is all crazy. But you said you... I know. I, okay, I know what I said. But I... What was I supposed to say? You all... You all pressured me. Andrew. <laughs> they really expect us to climb into some big thing and ride it through space just because VT might not come pick us up. It, it's insane. And first, we all have to get in cryo just for the privilege... Well, t some of us do. Andrew... I... I don't know what to say. I do not need us. I need you. Well... I'm not doing it. I'm not getting in cryo. I'm not... I'm gonna be the same one here. You know, nobody even considered that VT might come pick us up in time if we just wait. Nobody even considered it. Listen, just... Don't talk to anybody else about this for now, okay? And, and if I were to call the crew into medical, 
you'd show up, right? I guess it depends what it is. Okay. Just... give me a little time. Hey, Odin? Yes, Andrew? What should I do? What do you mean? I don't know. I... I just want to go home. I understand. <laughs> do you? I believe that I do. Can you tell me the average time it's taken VT to send an evac crew to investigate situations like this? The average time between a remote facility losing ground contact and an investigative crew arriving on site is 98.4 hours. God damn it. Please try not to be worried, Andrew. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. So, what do you think we should do? Standard operating procedure requires all crew to wait until help arrives. Yeah, you know people die in cryo, right? I know. Sometimes. If, uh... <laughs> if we don't make it out of this... Can you deliver a message to my family? I will do everything in my power. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll send you something later, all right? Of course.